Hey there. So I'm going to show you in this video how to take a YouTube video that you've recorded of yourself and captioned over in YouTube and embed it in a discussion over in Canvas. I will demo this in the existing Canvas rich content editor as well as the brand new one that many people still haven't adopted yet. I'm going to get started in Canvas by selecting um, first of all the discussions button and then the plus discussion in the upper right corner which means add a discussion and give it a title and type in some instructions. You'll notice at the end here I said uh, please view the one minute video below to get started. So you're prompting students about the video. Now I'm going to go over to that YouTube video in the other tab and select share, select embed, click in the code at the top so it's all highlighted and select copy in the lower right corner go back to canvas right where you want your video to go go up into the tools at the top if you don't see the tools that I have hold on because I'm going to show you a different version of the rich content editor that you might be using which is just a little different from this one if you see what I see you're going to select this little icon here that stands for insert slash edit media in the box that opens select embed click in that box and paste the embed code. Here's a little special tip for you to get rid of some of the ads and the extra stuff that likes to play at the end of an um, embedded YouTube video. Click at the end of your video URL. Okay, You need to find it. It starts with HTTPS and it's inside quotes. Okay, So what you want to do is put your cursor right after that last character but before the final quote and type this in question mark R E L equals zero whoops not that equals zero so right there R E L equals zero end quote and if you're in the new canvas rich content editor this is the icon you're going to look for when you put your mouse on it it says record upload media select there select upload slash record media select embed click in the embed code box, paste your embed code. I'm going to do the same little trick here. Click submit and my video is embedded. I'll go down and select allow threaded replies, which is a helpful feature for any discussion in my opinion. I also like to select allow liking. This is not graded so I'm not going to choose there and I'm just going to go ahead and save and publish. That discussion is now published in my course. If I go back over to discussion you'll see it right here at the top. If you click on the three dots over on the right side you can choose pin and it will be sure that it sits at the top of the discussions area. I'm going to pull it right up here um, and that's how that works. So what I would do next is leave an announcement for my students, letting them know that it's there and encouraging them to participate. And then I would also participate to model what it is that I'm hoping my students will do.